the scab or in your experience what has happened? <laughs> well it depends how long the scab's been there if it's quite a recent one it starts bleeding again yeah, exactly so it might bleed or what else might happen or yeah. it starts pussing yes yeah, so it might get infected yes or it's been there long enough that it, there's scar tissue underneath yeah, so exactly so the key word is scar yes so if you can imagine if you pick away a scar enough a scab enough you'll disrupt the nice healing process that's meant to take place where you grow nice new skin yeah. underneath that protective scab and I try to do research to understand how that process happens and it might lead to what we call fibrosis so that's a fancy word for a scar so being scientists or clinicians we like to invent nice fancy words and our, fibrosis is our word for a scar basically okay. and my research actually isn't about skin it's somehow related to this guy so Wolverine. Uh -huh. Why have I brought Wolverine to the Royal Society of Biology New Scientist Live? Why do you think I've brought that particular X-Man along? What's special about? I mean, he, about... Re he regenerates. Exactly. He's, so he can regenerate from anything. That's the key word. So he can regenerate himself. And I'm interested in the liver because that also has a capacity, a capacity to regenerate itself. Uh -huh. And the research we do tries to understand how that regeneration works and how it can go wrong when the liver becomes scarred or fibrotic for various different reasons. So I've also got an example of a mouse liver. Uh -huh. So in the lab that I used to work in and still work with, we have models of liver fibrosis that we can manipulate to try and find ways of inhibiting fibrosis or scarring and prevent uh, fibrotic scar formation by inhibiting the production of collagen. Mm -hmm. And we can do that by doing things like deleting particular genes or inhibiting a particular protein's function and we end up with microscope slides with sections like this which are really tiny and end up with nice beautiful images of a collagen scar all stained in red and we can actually measure the amount of scar and see if the experiments we've done actually have an effect on that fibrotic process and that will hopefully have applications not only for liver disease but maybe for kidney fibrosis or lung fibrosis or perhaps even in the skin as well.